Uh, this would be second day of my third trip. It would be my third day because I left the night before. So it's the second day running of my third trip down to southern Oregon. Yeah, I got me two beaver ducks today. They're out there just working away. Tearing down a dam with some real beaver built. Gonna improve the waterway here. This is a little creek here. It's not a river. But we've seen a spot down here that's 20 feet deep. They say bedrock here is 40 feet. Of course, I'm not even gonna reveal what county I am or nothing. Top secret. Yeah. In fact, why don't we cue the music and go to a musical interlude because I don't want to reveal the precise location that we're on a private mining claim and this is a really good geologic area. Yep, sure is. I'm really impressed with the uh, pitch blend and the gray wackle in the area and the green stones are, are uh, interesting, but more of the uh, uh, gabritic monzonite. Uh, it's been a long time since I've been in the uh, Paleozoic uh, uh, early Jurassic. been a long time. Up where I live in Redmond, it's all uh, quartary and there are tertiary areas. But I'm not really been a while since I've been out of the uh, tertiary into the uh, the Jurassic. This is uh, this is a prospector's dream geology. Uh, you start getting into your your pitch blends, uh, your chromite, uh, uh, your serpentinized metagabrite. Uh, not to mention all the granite diorite. See, there's an ancient channel, but well, they brought a dredge in here, and they worked the son of a gun. So I'm having trouble finding a spot that ain't been worked. So, and these guys here, they're working their tail off down moving rocks. And I keep telling them, we got to get some virgin ground somewhere. That's why I come up with this claim. It's all about virgin ground. See, there was a big dredge come off here. I mean, look at the parking lot they left here. Look, it's just, it's all been worked. This is really a, a nice geologic area. Of course, your, your gold is in the quartz, but see, we're actually in a, a silica deficient zone where the the uh, ultramafics are uh, ultra basic. They, uh, 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 just like the pH scale, you get into the uh, the uh, acid range of the rocks. Well, silica being the acid, I did basalt being the base, uh, just like the pH scale. Well, you get into this uh, ultra basic, the chemistry is different than gold. And, and I'd be more apt to look for a uh, platinum in an area like this with the better gabrites and stuff uh, than I would gold, but there's gold here because of the chemistry. Uh, the veins here are super rich, but small. And uh, so it's kind of a, a silica deficient area, geologic term. But we'll see. We'll see. We're just getting started. You know, these things take time. They say by your fourth day, you should get it out or pull out. It, it takes time. You gotta work these things. Uh, but I'm gonna go check that sluice in an hour. If I ain't see it's up, we're moving up to the ripples right up there. And maybe work that island. You see, the virgin ground is where the vegetation is. That's where we gotta get. See, that's just, that's about 10 feet deep right in front of those rocks. These guys can go down to 20, so, yeah, I got a, 
shop a real good dive. We're, we're getting getting her to. I think she's spitting it out. All right, you stupid potholes, Casey.